Okay, so I want to talk about the research project that I participated in um, because this is the first research project that I have um, done. So how I found out about it is that um, someone else that has Parkinson's that goes to my gym gave me a flyer from Oregon State Health University. I was I had never been to the university, but I was familiar with it. it they do have like a huge Parkinson's department, um, but I've never been there because it's kind of far from where I live. Um, so I found that they had several research projects on Parkinson's there at the college, and I decided to call on one that actually had an exercise program that you do three times a, a week. I called that one was full, they didn't need any more people. But they did tell me about another project that was only like a two-day thing. I signed up. They asked a lot of questions and I found out that I had to be off medication, which I was not that excited about. But I guess most of these um, projects you have to be either not on medication or if you are on medication, you have to not take medication for 24 hours. Um, they also agree to um, send a taxi to pick me up and drop me home um, because I don't drive and anyway I, I was scheduled to be off medication so I didn't know how that would go. So what I found was that I kind of um, reverted back to how I was uh, before the medication. This is pretty funny, my rabbit is moving the camera. So I got there and the researcher was really nice, um, the guy in charge of the project. He met um, us at the, um, at the building, which, at the entrance of the building, which I was kind of glad about because I was really unsteady on my feet. And so I basically, he basically stood by me. Um, they had several people in the lab. The lab was a pretty big space. I was kind of surprised how big it was. And then there were like five people that were conducting the test. And um, I guess they were research assistants. I was pretty surprised at how young they are. They were. They all looked pretty much in their early 20s. They were very nice and very accommodating. Asked me a lot of questions and then they did the test. So the first part of the test, and this was a two-day test, was a lot of exercises where they wanted me to walk um, up and down, and they also wanted me to um, walk while they would ask me questions, and I guess they wanted to see how distracted I would get. So that was the first day. The second day, they had me do a lot of cognitive testing, like on the computer, and they asked questions, all sorts of questions. And then I had a special MRI, where they said they it wasn't like a normal MRI. They were looking for areas of the brain to do with cognitive functioning. But both days, I was really tired. I was more tired the first day. By the second day, I was a little bit better. I was tired the first day because I didn't sleep the entire night before. And then the second day I got a little bit of sleep, so I was pretty amazed at how much difference there was between when I got sleep and when, when I didn't get sleep. And yeah, I think that's about it as far as my visit there. I would do it again, however... I'm kind of skeptical about doing it too soon just because I didn't like it being off the medication but it, it's, it was good to see how much the medication does help. Have you guys done any research projects? If so, let me know about it.